In this video, you will learn a simple method to model a car tire in Blender. Blender version 2.78c is being used while creating this video. So let us start. Select the cube right clicking on it. And press X and enter to delete it. Now go to the file menu, and click on user preferences. Make sure that the add-on tab is selected. Type EXTRA in the search bar. And check the add mesh extra objects box. Now click on save user setting. And close the window. Now press 1 on the number pad for the front view, and press 5 on the number pad for the orthographic view. Now we are going to add a single vert. Now press, shift plus A, keys on the keyboard, go to the single vert, and click on add a single vert. Now move this vert 4 grid line right to the X axis dragging this red arrow, and one grid line up to the Z axis by dragging this blue arrow. Now come over here and expand this panel little bit to unhide some icons. Click on this wrench looking modifier icon, click on add modifier, and click on mirror modifier. Come over here and check the Z axis, uncheck X axis, check clipping. And click on adjust edit cage to edit modifier result. Zoom a little bit and pan to adjust the view. Now press, E key on the keyboard to extrude and move the mouse to the half grid up of the fifth grid line. And left mouse click to confirm. Again press, E, key to extrude, and come half grid down and one grid right and left click to confirm extrude. Again press, E, key on the keyboard and move the mouse all the way down to the X axis, until the mirrored vertex is connected with the selected one. Adjust it little bit grabbing the red arrow to make it straight. Now press tab to go to the object mode. Now come over here and click the add modifier button, and add screw modifier. Now come down here and uncheck the smooth shading box. Rotate the view little bit so that we can see the result clearly. Now again go and click on that add modifier button and add subdivision surface modifier. Set both view and render value to 2. Now we are going to add a plane. Press, shift plus A, keys on the keyboard, go to mesh, and add a plane. Rotate this plane on the X axis by pressing, R, X, 90 and enter. Make sure that plane is still selected. Now press 3 on the number pad for the right side view. Now move this plane to the left on the Y axis grabbing this green arrow and place it little bit out of the tire. Now press 1 on the number pad for the front view. Pan and zoom it little bit to see it better. Now press, S, X, 0.25, and enter to scale it down on the X axis. Again press, S, Z, 1.1, and enter to scale it a bit on the Z axis. Now press tab to go to edit mode. Let's add some loop cuts now. Press, Ctrl plus R, keys on the keyboard, move the mouse to the top of the plane, scroll the mouse wheel up until you can see two pink line vertically. Now press left mouse button to confirm cut and right mouse button to release. Make sure that those two vertical lines are still selected. Now press S, X, 0.2, and enter to scale them down on the X axis. Again, press, Ctrl plus R, keys on the keyboard, move the mouse to the center of the plane, scroll the mouse wheel up until you can see six pink line horizontally. Now press left mouse button to confirm cut and right mouse button to release. Press, A, key on the keyboard to deselect everything. Press, Z, key on the keyboard for wireframe view. Press 3 key on the number pad for the right side view. Zoom and pan the view to bring the plane to the center of the screen. Come down here and make sure that the vertex select tool is selected. Now press, B, key on the keyboard for the box selection tool. And draw a box including the top vertices of the plane to select them. 
Now come down here to the proportional editing mode and select the connected. Now press, G, key on the keyboard, that will create the circular area. And the vertices inside the circle will be affected when you move the selected vertices. You can scroll mouse wheel up and down to adjust the size of editing area. Now make this circle this smaller and move little bit to the right to bend it almost to the tire shape. Right mouse click to release if you are not comfortable, and drag this green arrow to the right until it bends in the tire shape, and release the mouse button when you are done. Now press, A, key on the keyboard once or twice until everything is deselected. Now again press, B, key on the keyboard for the box selection tool, select the bottom vertices, and pull this green arrow to the right to bend it into the tire shape, and release the mouse button when you are done. Now press, Z, key for solid view, and press, 1, on the number pad for the front view. Press, A, once or twice to deselect everything. Now move your mouse pointer to the second face from top and press, Ctrl plus R, keys on the keyboard. Add a single loop cut, and move it up to nearby that edge. And left click to confirm. And repeat the same process in all horizontal edges pressing, Ctrl plus R, and moving up or down. Press, A, once or twice to deselect everything. Now press, B key on the keyboard for box selection tool and draw a box containing the center faces to select them now come down here and disable the proportional editing now move those selected vertices to the right side on the X axis by pressing G X 0.2 and enter now press a once or twice to deselect everything now come down here and click on face select icon now again press, Ctrl plus R, keys on the keyboard and add a loop cut horizontally to the top and bottom faces. Now press, A, once or twice to deselect everything. Now come down here and click on face select icon. Now press and hold the shift key, and select those particular faces right clicking on them, as shown in the video. If you selected a wrong face mistakenly, Again right click the same face to deselect it. Once you finish selecting, press, X, and select faces to delete them. Now press 3 on the number pad for the right side view. Now press, A, key on the keyboard to select all faces. Now press, E, key on the keyboard to extrude, and pull it little bit to the right side, until it goes into the tire completely. If you are not happy this time, right mouse click to release extrude, and pull this green arrow slowly into the tire. Now press tab to return to the object mode. Make sure that tread is still selected. Press, Ctrl plus A, keys on the keyboard and select the location to apply the new location. Again press, Ctrl plus A, keys on the keyboard and select the rotation to apply the new rotation. And one more time press, Ctrl plus A, keys on the keyboard and select the scale to apply the new size. Now we have to move the 3D cursor to the center, to do so, press Shift plus S, keys on the keyboard and click on, cursor to center. Now press, Shift plus A, keys on the keyboard, come down and select empty, and add a plane axis. Now again select this thread. Go to this panel and click on Add Modifier, and select, Array Modifier. Now come here and uncheck the Relative Offset box. And check the Object Offset box. Click this little cube icon here and choose the Empty from the list. Now come over here and select this Empty right clicking on it. Now rotate this Empty on the Z axis by changing this Z value to 4.5. Now select this tread right clicking on it. And in the modifier section change this count value to 80. Now we got the treads all around the tire. Now make sure that these treads are still selected. 
Come here in the modifier section and click on this apply button. Now select this tire right clicking inside of it. And apply the screw and subdivision surface modifier. For this time, do not apply the mirror modifier. Now while this inside tire is still selected, press tab for edit mode. Come down and click on edge selection tool. Now locate your mouse to the third circular faces from in, press, Ctrl plus R, keys on the keyboard, scroll mouse wheel up until you get the six new circular loop cuts, left mouse click to confirm cut, and right mouse click to release. If you want more or less cuts, you can still add or remove cuts changing the value in this section. Now zoom it a bit, and press, A, key on the keyboard to deselect everything. Now press, Alt plus Shift keys on the keyboard and hold. Select these two cuts from the middle right clicking on them, and then you can release the keys. Now pull this blue arrow little bit up about like this. Now press tab for the object mode. Now come here in the tool section and click smooth. Now you can apply this mirror modifier if you do not want to edit it anymore. And this was a quick tutorial about how to make a tire in Blender. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and leave a comment.